Samantha and Cameron are two students who have a lot of homework for their upcoming wedding. I want to stick it to your family too. But she can't communicate what she wants. They're not seeing the vision that I see. And he can't communicate how he's feeling. I don't know if you want me to say that. Yeah, he doesn't care. Can Jane give them something to talk about? I'm worried. And for me to be worried. Or will this couple fail this lifelong exam? We're going to wait until he gets here. Yeah, I have to. People are now leaving. Students Samantha and Cameron have been studying Love 101 for over eight years. I think I made the first move. Yeah, she was aggressive. What made Samantha stand out was... Nothing. What made Samantha stand out in the beginning was her beauty. I had to tell you. Within the two-year mark, I became pregnant, had Nathaniel. Nathaniel is four years old. Cameron was saying that he wanted to have another child, and I said, nope, not until we're married. First one's free, second one you have to pay for. I don't feel that I got a proper proposal. We went outside, and he put it on my finger, and that was it. I fumbled. I thought that I would have done it better. Hi, boys. I have to do the wedding favors. Can you come in and help? You're probably doing better than I will. The sources of disappointment would be Cameron's lack of involvement, my little sister's lack of involvement. You have no idea of what's going on. It's not my fault that you don't ever ask me to do something, okay? I shouldn't have to ask you. You should just offer. Maybe Samantha's sister should learn to read minds. I think general expectations are pretty low. Uh, from our families, they're probably expecting, like, homemade sandwiches. I need Jane to make sure that they're completely wrong, and... That's what it's about, not our love. Well... <laughs> sticking it to your family. No, but that's what I want. I, I want to stick it to your family too, don't worry. No, I mean, I don't want our wedding to be oh, yeah. what they envision it to be. I know. Enter Jane Deus Hinch. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to help this couple actually communicate all their wedding wants and needs. Cameron, nice to meet you. Hello, Cameron. Samantha. Samantha. So what's the matter with your wedding? When it comes to my centerpieces, every time I go to see a florist and they try to recreate it, it's not what I'm looking for. OK. Do you have someone to marry you? <sighs> Almost. That's a no, then. We did have somebody, but they had just canceled. Cool. Have you got a photographer? Kind of. <laughs> yes or no? My Corporate. mom can, I guess, take oh, pictures. <laughs> Worst comes I think she to worst. actually will be in the pictures rather than taking them. Right. Then I think there's a lot more things we need to discuss. These students better take notes. Anything in red is urgent, is like today. Efficient, I suggest. Book one. Good call. Have you got a DJ? Have you got a band? My friend who DJs at clubs, but doesn't really have too much experience DJing weddings. DJs that work the clubs have a completely different playlist to wedding DJs who can do anything because Grandma's gone up and said, could you do a bit of Frank Sinatra, please? Oh, that's nice. See? And he won't have that. Is this person going to be your MC? He would have to be because we don't have somebody else. Now he's got a big role. <sighs> a florist. They're not seeing the vision that I see. A bride that visits 12 florists and doesn't pick one? How complicated is this centerpiece? It's simple. I want curly willows coming up. Twisted willow, yeah. And then I want some type of thing hanging over the God, vase. It's so ugly when you say it like that. It's not the florist, it's Samantha not being so specific. I'm worried. And for me to be worried. That's your job. Right? No. Mm. <laughs> You have a wedding planner, but you need some help. Can you ask your mum for any help? What can... Oh. Why wouldn't you, mum, want to? She just... And you'd love her to. Wow. I've tried to get, her, to get her involved, but it's just not an interest of hers. I hope I get the opportunity to meet Samantha's mother so that I can talk this through with her and find out if there is a problem. I haven't got little bells now. I've got big alarm bells now. Hmm. You're not on your own. You got me. 
I've got three wishes. Do we give Cameron one? Yes. I'm hoping that he'll start checking things off the list as well, not just leaving it on to me. Oh, boy. But at least Cameron starts sorting out the DJ right away. Hey, I think we could have a little chat about maybe doing a wedding? Yeah, absolutely. I like dancing at a club. It's generally a good vibe. I know a lot of my friends are going to be there, and they all you know, used to club with me, so. so tell me what um, you want. I just want another recreation of just about every Saturday night we get here. So it's All right, a, so it's your wedding. It's a wedding, yeah. We're gonna party it up. Everything's gonna be crazy. Do you have any ballads? Frank Sinatra? Yes, uh, but like it's it's funkified. It's like, yeah, it's just 120 beats a minute. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna, everybody's going dancing and everybody's going crazy. It's gonna be a party and come on, look at me, Cram. I'm already seeing the party. I'm already seeing the party. And this guy is gonna be their MC? Sounds good. Looks like Samantha wants to put another spin on the DJ. Hello, Samantha. I would like it if you would be able to help us find a real professional wedding DJ. I'll find you the best wedding DJ I know. You may have to convince Cameron because he seems really stoked for this club DJ. Leave it with me. With just five days to go before the wedding, Samantha is back at it, this time with some pint-sized help. Who's getting married? You're getting married? Yep. Who are you marrying? My mommy. Thanks for helping, mommy. You're the only one helping. Daddy never helps you. Daddy never helps me? No, me. I know, pumpkin. Meanwhile, Jane is wasting no time in taking care of the DJ wish. And that apparently comes with a little attitude. This is so good. Woo! You're really getting down there, Jane. There are no requests. It's all what I want to play all night. And when you come up and you ask, it'll be, sorry, sir, you want what? I don't do that. That's not something I want. What I try to demonstrate to Cameron, because he is so set on this club DJ, is to show him how bad it can be. Your grandmas will be hitting this. I don't really see my grandma doing that too much. You might be having a great time, but everybody else at your wedding left early. Is that what you want? No, not at all. Are you going to trust me, Cameron, to go and find you the best DJ for your wedding? All right. I got well put in my place, and yeah, that's good. Excuse me? I'm having a great time. Okay. Thank you. While Jane continues to play her music, Woo! Cameron heads home and just continues to play. Here it goes. Oh! Mama? I'm a Oh, I can't be your cheerleader, honey. Mommy has lots of stuff to do. What, what are you doing? I have to do the wedding favors. Can you come in and help? Uh, 20 minutes or so. This is ridiculous. While Samantha heads back to do their homework alone, DJ Jane has called in some help. Jane, do you really know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing. I can tweak anybody's knobs. <laughs> I think you should step aside. I want everybody to have a great time, so you need a great DJ. And that's why I chose Gabe. This is a wedding itinerary, which okay. all the information is going to be on here. And this is what I'm going to go by. I need to know if we're going to say their last names, if we're going to say the date or the venue. I need to know all these details to make sure everything goes amazing. You speak in my language. We want to appeal to everybody that's coming to the no wedding. No problem. So we're going to make them have the best wedding party ever. Let's do it. They've got the two party animals. We're going to make them I go crazy. This is just the best. Meanwhile, Samantha continues to work on the wedding by herself. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Mom. Well, I still need to do my table arrangement. Mm hmm Set my favors up. Mm hmm Finish this off and put the ribbon around this. So it sounds like you got a handle on everything. Well, not really. And that's where our fairy godmother comes into play. Hello. Hi, Jane. Hello, Samantha. No one's really helping me, and I really want my mum's help right now. I would like to call in a wish. You want me to ask your mum to help you? Let me see what I can do. OK, thanks, Jane. As a wedding planner, I am a mediator. And if this is her wish, I will do anything to make this wish happen. Mrs McDonald? Oh, hi. Hello, I'm Jane. I've just been talking to Samantha about the wedding. She says that... She's absolutely swamped with the wedding, and she wants some help, and she hasn't got any help. She hasn't asked me for any help. If she asked me for help, I'd be more than happy to help her. But it doesn't surprise me 
Really? No, that is Samantha. I've noticed she's been doing this with her sister also. And I have heard people say, um, is there anything I can do for you? Because none of us really know what to do. OK, well, maybe we can talk this through then. Samantha. Hi, Jane. I've just been speaking to your mum in the garden. It's a bit of a breakdown in communication. I think I need to get the two of you together. OK. You haven't really come and asked me for any help, Samantha. I don't think I should have to ask people for help when you see me doing something you could offer. Not a lot of people go on mind reading courses. No. You just come and tell me, oh, Mum, I need help with this. I don't, I'm going to be there. Look how easy that was. Yeah. Wasn't that a simple wish? Hello, Brenda, will you do this? Yes. That's not really a big wish. I'm going to help Samantha in a very different way that won't just be for the wedding. I hope it'll be for life. With just four days to go, what little talk there was has now turned to fighting. There's not that much space to work with, so... And why isn't there a lot of space? Because this is only the size that it is. No, this is a normal size seating. This is perfect for well, a seating I don't care chart. if it's a normal size seating thing. You have 16 tables, there's not much room. If you can stretch paper, feel free to. Maybe you shouldn't have invited so many guests, Cameron. All right, I think I'm pretty sure I know what I gotta do, okay? Hello? Hi, Jane, it's Cameron. Apparently, I've failed at just about everything, regardless of all the effort I've put in. I'd like to, uh push out a wish. I'd like my wish to make me appear to be the A-plus groom. OK. I really appreciate your help. Jane will help Cameron make the grade. But first, it's back to school for the entire family and a lifelong lesson in communication. How are you, Kevin? I'm terrific. Thanks for coming, Jane. Thank you. Right, to be. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And look who's here. We have a few family members here. It's not just Samantha who needs to learn communication skills, it's the whole family. Let's start off with a fun exercise where it's just a simple identification of a picture. For instance, uh, I would love you to step forward and I want you to be just a simple thing. I want you to be a tree. I'm a tree. Awesome. Great. I want you to step forward and just be something that should be around that tree. And you would announce it. I'm a dog and I'm going to be on Be on a great. All right. I'm a tree. Apple. Oh, nicely done. That's great. I'm the sun. Beautiful. I'll be leaves. Nice. I'm the bark. I'll fly around the tree. Excellent. All right, give yourselves a hand. Nice job. OK, we all had fun pretending to be a tree. But how is this going to help plan a wedding? We're accepting those things as yes. And then we're adding our own ideas. We're expanding on it. We're saying yes and. Those are the two most important words in effective communication. And we're going to do a little yes and exercising right now. All right? You make one <laughs> sentence. But after that first sentence, every response begins with yes and by saying, yes, you have a right to say that. And I have a concern about this. Yes, that's true. And this is true. How will we meet in the middle? How will we find common ground? That's what we do when we build relationships with people. We accept them for what they are. And we add what we are. Would you like to uh, practice our dancer? Yes. <laughs> yes. And there are things that I would like to do our way. <laughs> yes, and could you go on and tell me what those were? <laughs> yes. And they are what? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they <laughs> are. <laughs> oh, not off the top of my head. <laughs> we're accepting those things as yes. And then we're adding our own ideas. We're expanding on it. And I think that kind of language, that yes and language, will be very helpful as you move forward in planning, say, a wedding. As with any workshop, you take it away with you. And the more you practice, the more you gain the skill. It was a positive workshop, but it would take a lot to continue on with that type of communication. Her first test comes in the form of a visit to florist number 13. Maybe now Samantha can communicate what she wants. What did you have in mind? A tall vase. Is this vase going to work for you? Yes, the vase okay. would work. I want some stuff flowing over okay. it. Okay. Um, stuff as in flowers <laughs> or as in greenery? I guess greenery. I have some grasses. Yes, <laughs> and I want midway flowers. Really These chilly. wouldn't be my color. Let's not do those then. Uh, Are they good? Uh, some hydrangeas. Yes, <laughs> and I want it tight though. You can work with that. I don't want these any. are gonna come out. Yeah. Sure, sure. 
Wonderful. Are you 100%? Yes, I am 100%. Perfect. Well, then that's what we've got. Now that I've seen the training that I did with the communication is actually effective and something is positive out of it, it's for sure something that I'm going to continue on using. Looks like Samantha is passing her test, so Jane can get back to work on Cameron's wish to help him become an A-plus groom. Cameron realized that it's coming to crunch day and he needs to redeem himself. Well, I thought I would do a report on you. As you are a student, yes. I thought you would react well to this. Efficient, where are we with that? We don't have one. We're still working on it. Did you go and pick up your tuxedo? Yes. Does it fit? I never tried it on. You didn't try it on? Something that Samantha mentioned to me was how you proposed. How would you rate your proposal? That might be the only failing grade I've ever gotten in school in my life. Oh, dear. Speeches? Have we got that done? No. I think your speech is where you can blow her away. When it comes to the speech, it's, I'm sure you'll all agree, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't my wife look beautiful? And you give her a kiss and you make her feel so special. And she will see that you've put work into the speech more than you ever did with the proposal. And that will make you an A-plus bridegroom. That sounds spectacular. I think this is going to be the biggest test of Cameron's life. Will he pass? I'll ask Sam on the wedding day. Cameron wastes no time. He wants that A-plus. Hi, this is uh, Cameron Tracy. I'm calling, trying to get a minister. Perfect timing. You need the officiant for the rehearsal. Can I just ask? Yeah. Excuse me. Are you the officiant? No. No. Uh-oh. He's a stand-in officiant. Yes. Have we got a real one? Yes. yes. Tomorrow at 3.45. 3.45. But the wedding starts at 3. Cameron. <laughs> I forgot the British have no sense of humor. They do when the jokes are funny. Will there be an officiant tomorrow? Ask Cameron. He's, he says there's going to be an officiant. They got, still got food on from the last wedding. Where's this guy that was coming down? I don't know. Don't know where he is. You've got to be very direct to his people. People are now here to help you set this up, and I don't want you here till midnight. Right. So you've got to be saying, this is how I want it. This is how I want my table. Time 16. I want this room to be perfect. You're the person to tell them. OK. I will. Team Samantha. I will. Everyone is supporting, everybody wants to be there, and they, they want direction. Remember, Samantha, yes, and. How do you want the napkins? Well, they need to make it in a fan. Like, so, so this is no. wrong? Yeah. So all these are wrong? Yes, and these all need to be fixed. Samantha and Cameron are students who are getting straight Fs when it comes to communicating. I don't know if you want me to say that. Yeah, he doesn't care. Jane showed up with three wishes to help this couple start talking. For wish one, she found a real wedding DJ. You definitely need a very versatile DJ to be able to do a wedding. For wish two, she taught Samantha how to actually ask for help when she needs it. Not a lot of people go on mind reading courses. And for wish three, Jane worked with Cameron to try to make him an A-plus groom. That might be the only failing grade I've ever gotten in school in my life. It's the wedding day, and everybody's finally pitching in. Even Cameron is going above and beyond to get that gold star from Jane. Did you organize the violinist? Um, Sam used to play the violin, and I just think that that might be just uh, something to put me over the top. You finally get into, into the spirit of this, aren't you, Cameron? You just need to do that speech. No worries. He's on top of that, too. I do not want to take the spotlight off Samantha like I could. Doesn't she look amazing, everyone? Because you're making a statement, doesn't she look amazing, everyone? And then they'll agree with you. I think you need to go and get ready. OK, sounds great. Yeah? Yes. Oh. Jane, thank you so much. Go. The wedding's near, but Cameron is far from ready. Where's your shirt, sweetheart? It's, You've got... It's, it's, it's being pressed. Well, the bride is on her way. I know. An hour before the ceremony, there was Cameron running around in his vest and shorts. We're waiting for you. Oh, God, no. Wait for the rest of the guests. And a minister. 10 past 3. I have guests. I have no officiant. Hi. Hello. Hi, Kutias. I'm the officiant. The officiant, check. But there's still someone missing, and it's not who you think. We're going to wait until he gets here. Yeah, I have to. You need to make an announcement to your guests, because yeah, some okay, of your sorry. guests have sat there for 45 minutes. 
people are now leaving. We've been waiting for the bride's father. She wanted to give him every opportunity to be here, but he's 40 minutes late. Do you hold your wedding up for one guest? How long do you wait? Look beautiful. Thank you. Think beautiful thoughts. Oh, gee, sorry, 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 sorry. I've been here since three. Mm -hmm. All right, inside, guys. It is now 10 past four. Oh, we nearly lost the officiant, sorry, 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 sorry. but that's how much you okay. mean to her. Yes. Ice okay. Cream. Can I, I escort I you to your seat? Let me give my baby a kiss. Mm -hmm. you look so sweet. That's what you waited for. Thank you very much. Finally, it's showtime. Samantha, with all my love, I'll take you to be my wife. I will love you through good and bad. I promise to be your equal partner. Cameron, with all my love, I take you to be my husband. I will love you, I will try to be understanding, and to trust in you completely. Cameron, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Samantha and Cameron Tracy. When I first walked into the reception, the first thing I noticed was my centerpieces. <laughs> they were set up beautifully. It was perfect. It was beautiful. It was. All that's left now is for Jane's DJ to get everyone on the dance floor. It's great. It's rocking. Our DJ has been phenomenal. He had a really good understanding of the the vibe and the ambiance we were trying to create it was spectacular. The DJ has scored an A+. But what about Cameron and his speech? Wouldn't you all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that Samantha looks absolutely stunning? I was so proud of him. Fantastic, Cameron. To see Nathaniel give her a hug and give her away to me was just the absolute moment that we became a family. Cameron's speech tonight was absolutely wonderful. That was sweet. Thank you. I'm 100% sure that if we didn't have Jane, it wouldn't have been a success at all. Jane A plus it. DJ Jane doesn't get out of bed for less than 100 Gs. <laughs> 